Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again, and today we bring you a Teemo deck. And this is a specific list we stole from Davo, who reached top 10 in the America server using Teemo with some monument. If you think Siren Song is annoying, just wait. Wait until next patch when Siren Song gets nerfed, and I bet you that the next card that you're all gonna complain about is gonna be some monument because this card is busted in a lot of the scenarios because it literally buys you an additional like two or three turns sometimes and it's exactly what you need with a team of deck to get the opponent to draw the shrooms that you need to win so today's deck is gonna showcase the power of some monument and Davos list that's a lot of things I really like I like the double Ava achiever here uh, I like the puff cap pops it's really nice to kind of push some early damage into the opponent as well as being able to put puff caps there's a lot of great things here that i like and it's why i think this list is probably one of if not the best team of list that you can find out there right now so anyways let's go ahead and jump to the games and see how it goes if you like our content make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us we post end of our videos every single day enjoy in this match we're going against this so this is going to be fish siren song we have a good matchup against them as long as we get the sump fumes, right? The sump monument, sorry. However, we don't have anything else, so I don't think I keep it. <laughs> and the landmark is critical in this matchup, but not when my hand looks this bad. I need, I need better stuff, right? I need better stuff before we can confidently say that, right? It's a nice blocker that's also planting puff caps in the opponent's deck. We don't have any spells, so this is a little bit weird. The Wallop is going to be nice against Solani later on. If the opponent has Siren Song, we're kind of annoyed. If the opponent has Pell Cascade here, they don't get any draw from it. They don't go for the Pell Cascade, so that means they don't. They probably have Siren Song here. Yep, so here goes the Siren Song. We'll play a Peddler. We'll block this one, just add the Shrooms. Play the clock clean. Oh. oh boy, that fist is a problem. That fist is a problem. A I'll do it like this, man. Yeah, that fist is gonna be a problem just because he has I guess I guess we have the elusive, so it's not a big deal. Okay, this this the sub monument. Now we need to actually get like spells and stuff. Timo doesn't do anything anymore. I like the time trick. We need to start getting value from this guy here. And hope for her return. Cause we need to get we just need I guess I could have gone for the con for the condense and had two of these in the field. The point is life stealing, but the life steal doesn't matter to us. I've always been a fun guy. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. We just need to put puff caps into the opponent's deck. We're taking a lot of damage, but we'll have the sump monument that we can play whenever. Over here. I'm gonna just block that, right? You're drawing for us. I mean, you have a lot of... Yeah, I'm just gonna block that here. We have another elusive. I mean, you will have fearsome, so that is a problem. And we don't have after shock in this deck anymore. Second peddler. I mean, third peddler or another time trick. So we have six mana next turn. If we pick the peddler, we cannot play the clock lane. I think we go for the time trick. I think we go for the time trick. We can't play. We cannot play the sump monument. If we play the Cochrane. So we're gonna go like this and just play the Sun Monument. And just take all this damage. <laughs> and hope that that's enough. That's not gonna be a lot of damage that we're taking. We're taking a lot of damage. So sits. Nothing else makes sense. 
Like, we need to just put shrooms in their deck. The point is at 16 HP. If they let us, I guess we can play Wallow. Ah, there's no way, right? Like, I, I, I'm taking way too much damage next turn. We were peaceful once. That we're never gonna, like, we... We can block, right? We can block just one. I don't think it's worth it to block just one. Unless the... If the opponent lets me play the Chump Wump There's first, maybe. We can wallop. So we can wall up here, block here, and then next time we go Chump Wump and Karina. Oh wait, ah, ah, I blocked incorrectly. You never block this. I'm not supposed to ever block the Divine Clerk. I messed up, I messed up. I messed up, that was my fault. I'm not supposed to, because I'm giving the life steal. They don't life steal if they hit my nexus because of the monument. That was my fault. That was my fault. I, w I was trying to think about, okay, how do I want to block? And I ended up blocking like efficiently instead of blocking the way that I needed to. Like I was trying to like, oh, let me trade, right, with the life steal. But that doesn't really work. If your opponent has the sunburst here, that's the best way that they can get rid of my... Peddlers. That's an extra 5 HP, man. Ah, so if the opponent lives at 5, we'll know that it's because of my own misplay. We do have a couple turns, right? We're not... I don't think we're dying this turn. I can't believe that misplay on my part. Yeah, we'll go like this. We'll have another Karina next turn. The pony only has... A, pony's gonna take about... What? That's two per car, so it's gonna take ten. So technically, on average, Karina should kill them. Okay, never mind. They just lose anyways. <laughs> Unless I drew all twelve. Okay. I definitely misplay. I definitely misplay. They lose anyways because of the Mystic Shot, right? So they lose anyways because of the Mystic Shot. I definitely misplay last turn, giving them the life steal. If you have the sun fume, the life steal doesn't happen. Remember that, because you don't take damage. Now there's a chance that I draw 12 shrooms here. Although 25, 50, 75, it should be around three or four shrooms that I draw here. Okay, we don't even get to see it. Six. <laughs> we went over average, but still. You can see the power of the landmark right there. It gave me that extra turn that I needed to be able to play Karina and do what I needed to do. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Nora, Nor, and Jin. So our team all doesn't really get to attack here, right? Unfortunately. Uh, they are playing triple Nora, so maybe we keep... I don't like this hand but i also don't dislike it like the, i think i think keeping the chump one is important hmm i like this pet this pop cap pop it's gonna force out a removal from the opponent so here we get the yep we drop the bomb and that's one less removal that i have to worry about later for timo or for the clock lane Okay. I'm a mushroom. So that's a that's a Bastaya, right? So that's a Bastaya here. I'm gonna just play the chump one. So that we have a unit that we can attack with, right? I'm fine with this, right? Let's just put this here. We'll attack with the four. Opponent doesn't have a blocker because they decided to kill the peddler before they deal with the chump one. We have another peddler next turn. And we have some augmented clockling draw. 
We know that this Sebastia is the only uh, bush unit that this deck plays. They play that because they want to beat the Siren Song, right? If you want to take four damage here, that's a lot. Okay. They decide no. They're gonna recall it. So they're gonna recall it instead and use the recall now. I don't know that I like that. I don't know that I like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go second peddler. And now what? So what do you do now? And then we just go here. We know that the opponent cannot play it. So you lose the Bastaya. I like the Clockland, just push this two damage. Some monument is tempting, but not important in this matchup, right? So I'm actually gonna go for the time trick. So let's go here. Condense because we have Karina and we have Ava Achiever. Let them discard this thing. I'm gonna attack with both and let the opponent kill the peddler if they want to. So they can block here, but then they take an additional four damage from this jump one. And I think I'm fine with that. Second landing rush. Okay, so that keeps the predator alive at least. All right. If the opponent has brown man, it's a little bit worrisome because then I won't be able to play the sheep, the Ava, the Ava, 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 Ava. If we can play this Ava straight up, then I think we're in a good spot. Opponent doesn't have rape tie yet because it's only turn seven. So Brahman is the scary spot here. They don't have it. They just draw instead. We play Ava. We play Ava here. Keep the Mystic Shot for Anora. Of course. Actually, I guess we can block with the clock lane, right? All right. So let the opponent do that, and then we'll still go the Mystic Shot on Anora. So this is fine with me. Opponent's using up all the resources, thinking that their Nora is gonna get to hit. And then we just kill the Nora. The qu the question here is: Do we go Chump Womp? I think I, I think I like the Chump Womp at this point over the Clockland, so that we can just take advantage of the Peddler and start setting up for Karina and Condensed Value. Because this is adding 10 16 shrooms. So at least that will be one shroom per one shroom per card that the opponent draws. Hello. 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 We could condense now instead. How crazy is it to condense the Ava? It just dies to the pastry, right? So the condense just dies to the pastry. So I guess let's go Clockling. We can just play second Ava or second Chump. I'm a fan of Ava. I'm a fan of Ava. She's permanently adding three shrooms every time she stays on the field. We don't need to attack because I don't want. I guess we should attack if the opponent wants to use their pastry here. That's fine with me. I'm not concerned about second Nora. I'm more concerned about the the Riptide Rats, right? Which is exactly what's gonna happen next turn. So these are Riptide Rats, if I ever seen one. I mean, if you wanna kill this, I'm also fine with that. Wow, okay. So I'm fine with that, right? You don't have a way to trigger Riptide? Yeah, opponent just had a horrible hand, unfortunately, for them. So opponent just had a horrible hand 
Let's attack with both. Opponent's gonna heal with Tasty Folk, and that's okay. They're gonna heal no matter what. They're gonna heal now or later, right? So it doesn't matter. Because they, they can just swim back. And we have no way to stop the swim back. So let's just have them train with it right now. Okay. They block with the Clocklet. They have a single card left in their deck. We're gonna have double Ava on the field and then Karina and Condense. Might actually just condense the Ava to be honest. Because, wow, they just drew four shrooms. That's cool. And they're gonna draw more. They drew two more shrooms, right? So we just play Ava here. Let's go give it the soul student. Go like this. And we can do it multiple ways, right? We can go condense into Karina, which I think is probably better. So we Karina, condense Karina, and, and just get a lot of value. Pony has 33, so they're gonna... 36, sorry. And all the shoes from this are gonna be like doubled up times four times. Times, yeah, times four. So we go like this. Because of the double A bat, this gets duplicated and we just get there. 44. Yikes. <laughs> that 44 means that we they do 11 shrooms, by the way. So GG's. In this match, we're gonna get any gin. Oh, aggro decks are gonna be difficult for us. We do have some. Hmm. I think it's too early for some monument, right? It's really good against aggro, but not this early. I want to find stuff like Mystic so I can defeat the tomb. The Raven Bloom tomb. Tomb, tomb, tomb. Nice. So the opponent plays Annie here. Okay, I play the team. I, I, I still have the Mystic. It's fine with me. Alright. That's cool with me. You can push too. You can push it too, my friend. Doesn't doesn't matter to me. Well, do fight with the Teemo. Get some value here. Play the Puff Cap Pop so that we have a blocker. Okay, pass. If it's a gen, it's a little bit annoying, right? I guess we can Mystic Mystic. Art requires a certain yeah, so I guess we can Mystic Mystic. The point is gonna put the tomb on, the tomb on him. There we go. And then we Mystic Mystic. That's what I was waiting for before we did this. We're putting to waste two more mana. And they did. <laughs> That's unfortunate for them. I respect it. I respect it. Put a little bit more puff caps in there. The Ava is gonna be really nice later on. Uh, then some monument as well. Perfect. This lets us level up the Teemo. Opponent's gonna have to play the stage hand right now to stop the Teemo from hitting. Or they're gonna have to sacrifice. Suffering is the beating heart of drama. Huh. I didn't expect that. So they're just gonna go for the second gen and just try to kill the team on next turn. That's their big plan. So their big plan is to kill team on next turn. We have doubled up the shrooms, so the body has 16. They have a little bit more than one per per car. Yeah, they'll try to kill the team on here. This is gonna count as two. That's cute. Our performance be I have prepared something very Yeah, there you go. Oh, they kill both actually, huh? That's nice. I don't need to condense right now. I'm gonna condense the Ava instead. Let's just block that damage. Okay, so we'll play Ava here. Start getting some value this way. I think opponent is going to potentially just die a lot quicker than they realize because of this amount of damage that this Ava is going to put in. Remember the objective. Question is, are we going to die sooner than we like? 
Not if we put the su not if we put the sun monument, right? If we put the sun monument down. It gives us a turn. I never we can condense, but then it just means... Okay, so if we condense... If we condense the Ava and play the Clump, I've memorized all the I think we're better off this way. Ah, oh, they got the Triple Gin in their hand, right? That's a triple gen hand, by the way. If you guys didn't notice that. That's a triple gen hand. Alright. I guess we just we're just bad players. Jeez. Alright, so that's 50 uh, 50. It still has 17 health though. We need to get Karina. We do have the time trick to get the Karina. So we do have the time trick. That's only one shroom. We don't have the time trick to get the Karina. The Ava dies because of the this guy leveling up. We have at least two more turns, right? I don't know why they keep open attacking when the open attack does nothing, right? Like you're not you're not really pushing any more damage here by open attacking compared to doing it how you needed to do it. Now I am getting a lot of pop caps. We chump block those two to defend eight damage. The gin with the book is pretty strong. I'm not. I'm not gonna deny that. Like this. This gin has been putting a lot of work. We'll go peddler. Oh wait. Ah, oh, second bounce. I forgot about second bounce. You have to be chump one first, right? Had to be the chump one first because I forgot about the second bounce. I did forget about the second bounce. Wow. It was literally right there for us to see. And I still forgot it. And I'm going to draw actually on my card. Because I drew another card that draws. Ah, I'm just playing bad. I'm just playing bad. <laughs> I'm just playing so bad today. That feels bad. Yeah, whatever. So let's go here. Let's draw more. Let's take Karina. And she doesn't have anything on it. Right? So Karina, we push two damage. Two the here that takes him to 12. Okay, opponent stunts us. Take another set of damage. Stun, 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 stun. Alright. Hail Mary. Not enough unless five, unless four of those are on top of their deck is not enough, right? So unless four of those are the top in the top car, I mean we saw eight shrooms. If four of those are in car number one, we get there. So if four of those are in car number one, we get there. We're definitely gonna drop four shrooms. Actually, it's not. The answer is here somewhere. <laughs> what? What? Immerse yourself in the unknown. No way. They're actually gonna get rewarded for this. They're actually gonna survive this. So they're gonna survive. They're actually gonna get. They, they're not gonna get punished for throwing three cars. We had eight shrooms on the top five cars of the deck, and they only saw two of those after drawing three cards. I can't believe this. Why? Why draw? You had to win. You had to win. GG's. In this match, we're going against Karma and Set. They draw a lot, right? So we could potentially... 
Got some pretty good value here. I mean, the potion there is nice. I don't think it's necessary though. I, I think I want to draw for my Puffcat Peddler. So I like this hand, right? Even if the opponent has a Mystic Shot or a High Note, I'm going to sacrifice this Teemo and I'm going to play both the Puffcat the Puff Cap Pup and the Teemo, right? Just start pushing a lot of pressure to the opponent, force him to kill this Teemo, which is exactly what they're going to do. But I steal the Puff Cap Pup is going to hit for two and plant three shrooms into their deck. So even if they have a High Note or a Mystic here, that's fine with me. You, you, you pick your poison. Which one do you want to kill? Okay, they chose the team. Which is exactly why we kind of expect that, right? Um, if the opponent plays a 3-drop here, the Chump Womp is... We're going to go a second Puff Cap Pop and then Chump Womp. I don't think we need to play the Peddler yet until later. Second Teemo, not bad. So let's go second Puff Cap Pop. Do we play second Teemo? I like second Teemo. I like second Teemo here. If the opponent attacks here, that's fine, right? I don't think I block. And the reason I don't block just yet is because I want to play the chump one. And if the opponent doesn't have another blocker, then we're getting a lot of value from this chump. Like, they, they probably want to block here, right? Because they have no other way to uh, to kill this chump one. They didn't trigger flow, so even if they have a caustic Griff, it's going to cost their four mana. Aftershock. So, an Aftershock and a pop cap pop means that they have another Mystic here, and then they're going to block here. Yeah. What that means though is that again, that's one less thing that we have to worry about for the Puff Cap Peddler. And like I said, they wanted to block the Chump Womp, so that's exactly what they did. We could go we continue we could continue to go wide here. And I think that's fine. Nobody's tougher. Welcome to the arena. Okay, you're gonna put more puff caps? Alright. Let's go here. They only have nine puff caps though. I mean, I'm, I'm preparing for the peddler, right? I'm preparing for the peddler. Um, we can open here. <clears throat> if they have the caustic grip, they have the caustic grip. Otherwise, they're taking. That tells me that they don't have the caustic grip. It's done. All right. Okay, so they will be able to kill my pedal. Oh, I think I'm okay with that. Oops, I, right? I think at this point, we're going to get the body that we want from the pedal. Oh, with all these uh, clouds, right? Let's go ahead and just do one right now so that the opponent starts drawing cards. In case that they have like a... In case that they have a draw card in their hand and they're wanting to draw and not have a lot of shrooms in their deck, right? So obviously, ooh, they don't even get to kill the Puff Cap. That sucks for them. They don't even get to kill the Puff Cap Peddler. They just get stunned. Rough. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. Now what? You're gonna deny this instead of a Karina? Oh, that's not fun. Mm. Sure, let's do this first. Just put the most pu the, mo the, the most puff cap that we can on their deck, right? So let's just put the most that we can on their deck. Uh, they got the second aftershock, all right? We already got the value that we needed from these guys. We can open attack with both. Right? And just force the opponent to block with the set. And if they lose that set, I'm okay with that. I probably mm. Ionia speaks for you. Go here. 
double mystic that takes them down to seven and then it's all about whatever puff caps they get Yeah, let's go like this. Let's just put ourselves in a position where the opponent tries to draw. It's going to be in a bad spot, right? We got to hope that a lot of their cards are draw cards. So they have the Augment. There's a lot of cards that they have in their deck that draw them cards, right? Okay. If the opponent doesn't want to attack, I'm not going to push the issue, right? Heart and mind as one. Then maybe they're looking for like a life, uh, like a life, right? So we go here, just pull more puff caps. We can attack. This is lethal, right? It's going to force an answer from them. <laughs> I'm the boss. That's all there is to it. Uh, sure. Let's go like this. I should probably just play this Mystic. And if the opponent has to deny, they have to deny. Because I think they're worried about Karina, right? So as long as I have to sit, as long as I have one car and six mana, they have to always be concerned about Karina. So that they cannot tap out of the nine mana here. Sure, that's 10 damage that we're taking. Opponent's taking two shrooms per, per draw. So they get two karmas into their deck. So they get two karmas into their deck, which could mess up our odds. Because those karmas have no... Yeah, those, kar those karmas will have no... Uh... No shrooms on them. But we only need one draw to give them two, right? At this point, the opponent probably has a bunch of draw cards in their hand. The bad thing is that they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna burn a card here, right? They're gonna blow back. Imagine if I had Karina right here. Okay, so this means that if the opponent draws anything, they just lose. So this is 10. The opponent just wants to commit lethal this turn, right? So the opponent wants to commit lethal next turn, so they're hoping that they don't draw the this two shrooms. So this is lethal on the open attack. We already used all three mystics. I guess we could draw a second wallop. Not enough. Five shrooms. There we go. GG's. They, it, it, it's really hard for them because they have a lot of draw cards that they cannot use once you have enough shrooms in their deck. So, yeah. In this match, so we're going against Nora, Nar, and Gin. So, pretty control deck. Um, we do have... We do have Mystics, right? Even though we don't draw them. The Teemo can be a little bit dangerous this early because it's just so easy to group shop and... I toss this. So is this correct? I will play it. I will play it and just force into Pi toss right now. Oh, group shot. Yep, there we go. Just do it right now. Okay, so group shot is fine. I think it's fine to eat up the resources earlier rather than later. Problem is that our hand is not really great, right? We do have the way to deal with the Norad, which is what I was looking for, though. I would rather not do that until we have the Peddler on the field. We're just going to Mystic Shot this now, by the way, so that we don't have to deal with the Bastaya later. I don't want to deal to. I don't want to deal with the Bastaya or the Karina, right? So I'm just going to do this now as an investment for the future. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. We'll go here. I'll attack. You either take three, so they, they ended up getting a second Bastaya, which sucks for us. We don't have Karina though, so it doesn't really matter then. Nah, I don't know. Debatable. I seem to have misplaced my uh self. <laughs> mm. They grow up so fast. A 
have a mushroom. Just just eat up the second Pytas for group shot here. I, I don't have a choice. We know we know that it's a Mastaya. We'll go here. Just put more shrooms into the opponent's deck. Problem is that that's it, right? That's the, the that's the only thing we have for generation of of buff caps. Opponent still has a. Okay, that's not bad. Let's just go here. Force this out. If the opponent wants to play the Bastaya here, I'm okay with that. So you, I think it's better to force this out now. And have Korean available for later, right? We do have the monuments for later on. Maybe the app, maybe the Ava Achiever could get me there. Portapalooza. I think we pass. This is not great. This is not great. Five sets damage. First blood. Why why put something on the stack? Right? Why why do it this way? I don't get it. Can I just do it like this now? I, I, have to, I have to play the Ava, even if the opponent has double of the... Like, even if the opponent goes Brown and next turn, I have to do this. Right? Ah, they wanna... Okay, I see. They wanna get the... They wanna get the thing again. That's fine. So, you pastry. The Ava could... Uh, the, the Ava could do a lot of pressure, right? The Ava could do a lot of pressure. The problem is that the opponent still has so little number of shrooms that it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Yeah, like this is still gonna be really difficult. I don't know that it's time to play the monument just yet. She is adding three caps every turn, which is better than nothing, but it's still not ideal. Yeah, it's still not ideal, right? Okay, okay, yeah, we're, now, we're, now we're talking, now we're talking, all right, all right. Problem is Riptide Rats right here, right? So the Riptide Reds just kind of wins our day. Yeah, Reds just wins our day here, right? So if we know that the opponent has Reds... So if we know that the opponent has Reds, we just go like this. And play the Monument. So we're assuming Riptide Reds right here. So let's just drop the monument down. Ava is gonna die. Maybe it's not Riptide Rats and I just messed myself up by letting her die. Could still be rats. So I'm just gonna chill. Alright. That's cool. So they play that because of the... Um, so the reason they play that is because of the thing, they uh... What's it called? The fifth landmark, right? The reverse roll. Corina does nothing, because we know that this is a Vastaya. So it's just gonna be a matter of... Can the opponent drop 10 shoes in the next 3 turns? I don't think they can. If they have a second Desert Naturalist, they also get there. Alright, they have the second Desert Naturalist. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I guess another Mystic lets me kill the Bastaya and then settle for the Karina. 
four? It's just rats, though. It's always just rats here. Maybe you should have played the monument this turn, right? Because the opponent will only be able to play rats. Okay. I mean, it's not that far, right? It's six, six health. Opponent is drawing about one per car. So if we high roll, we're in a good position. You can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot do that. I'm gonna just say that you don't have anything to do to stop this. It doesn't matter which one I block. I always go to one HP. Why do it like that? Why do it like that? Why sacrifice your only win condition? Why sacrifice your only win condition? You know that's the only way that I win with Karina. Like, opponent had the win, and they just gave it to me. Why, why do that? <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed today's games. You got to see a tie there. You got to see a couple of really close and nice wins. You got to see a couple of opponents just misplaying. Nothing that can be, do can be done about that. Honestly, it's funny. The, the, I haven't seen as many ties in my history of playing Runeterra. And I've been playing Runeterra now for like over three years. I haven't seen as many ties as I have seen since I started playing this deck, right? Like, it's so easy for you to tie because when you have the sun monument and you take a bunch of damage, you end up with a bunch of shrooms in your deck. And then the opponent also has a bunch of, a bunch of mushrooms in their, in their deck as well. And then you both draw enough to go lethal and that's it right so it's actually really funny how often we see ties you got to see one in today's video uh, you got to see one yesterday uh, I, there was a couple ones that didn't also make it into the video but it, it's, it's just funny but this deck this deck i like it i like it a lot it can be a little bit awkward sometimes if you don't get the right pieces right if you don't get your puffka peddler your teemo your chump worm those are really the things that i feel like you want to keep in your mulligan like it can be a little bit awkward when you don't get those pieces because you do have a lot of spells and a lot of cards that don't really do anything until you have more mushrooms on the field. But, but if you get the right pieces in the right order, this deck feels really, really good. It, it, it can be really difficult for a point to finish up games against you because some monument can just delay enough for you to be able to stabilize and just kill them afterwards, right? It's, it's really fun how it ends up working out. Uh, I, I really like it. I, I think Davos ratios make sense here or what he chooses to do. The idea is pretty simple, right? You, you have to try to get as many podcasts as you can. And eventually you'll get enough podcasts that you can play your Ava Achiever, your Karina or Timo to be able to kind of win games, right? If you feel like you're close to dying, that's when you want to play that sub monument. You don't want to play it too early, but you also don't want to play it too late when you only have like five HP, because it's very likely that you're going to draw like five shrooms, right? If you're getting hit by like 200 damage and you only have five HP, right? So you kind of want to play it usually when you have somewhere between 10 to 15 and you see that the opponent is setting up for like a big attack, right? Uh, it's really good against stuff like this, because it's really nice to, de to deny that they lifesteal, right? So they can lifesteal if you have the sun monument on the field. And it can also be really nice to deny them their big reverse roll turn where they want to push a ton of damage. You just put this bad boy down and the opponent's going to have a really hard time kind of dealing with it. So I'm really, really, really liking what I'm seeing here with this deck and how it's able to just buy you a couple turns, which is usually enough to have your Karina and potentially do multiple Karinas, right? You're condensed 90% of the time you want to do it on Karina. You summon using it in a lot of other units in this today's video because we ended up not getting the right circumstances to do it as often with Karina but most of the times you want the sub monument to buy you enough so that you can play Karina and follow with a second Karina so that you can actually kill the opponent that way uh so this is really just a stall tactic you still need to be able to have enough shrooms in the opponent's deck to really make this work and that's why you want to have stuff like peddler and chunk one early on because these two cards can add a lot of shrooms into the opponent's deck and the chunk one being a 4-4 is also difficult for the opponent to deal with which means that potentially you could attack with him and force the opponent to trade and to take an unfavorable trade uh which 
benefits us a lot, right? The more damage you can put into their Nexus, the easier it is for your Puff Caps to be able to then finish them, finish them off. So I like the Wallop as well. It's a nice way to beat the Solani. Uh, what other cards here are kind of worth discussing? I feel like everything kind of makes sense. Uh, the Puff Cap Cup, the uh, Puff Cap Pop is really good at just pushing some a lot, a lot of early damage. The Augmented Clocking, obviously you want to use this before you have your your sump in the field, right? Same thing with Time Trick. You want to use these two cards that draw you before you have your sump in the field, because otherwise they kind of they kind of become dead draws, because you don't want to draw additional cards once you have your sump in the field. And allow the opponent to do more damage to you through the shroom. So just keep that in mind. Either one of these cards are how you're gonna finish most of your games. So yeah, but Spirit Shift Forward is a team of deck. What can I say? Just fill them up with puff caps and then let the RNG take the wheel. So hope you enjoyed today's games. If you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post LOR videos every single day. You can also find us on Twitch at Twitch at Twitter. We stream every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again tomorrow.